In this morning's Voices for Equality, an Atlanta nonprofit is working to improve diversity in the gaming and esports industry. Savannah Levins shows us how. It's a $180 billion industry and growing. COVID created an opportunity where gaming like skyrocketed. And for so many like Ryan Johnson, it's a part of who they are. First console in my house was like a Sega Genesis. Genesis does it all. Like gaming for me was always an outlet. According to data from the International Game Developers Association, an estimated 85% of black teens play video games compared to 70% of white teens. But as of this year, only 6% of all video game developers are black. It was like mind blowing to me that as many of my friends that I knew growing up played video games, family members, etc. I had heard nobody talk about the fact that you can like work in these spaces. That's why Johnson founded Community, a nonprofit working to increase gaming access and career opportunities for students of color, particularly at historically black colleges and universities. We're actually going to these HBCUs and building out their esports centers on campus. They also donate computers and gaming systems to kids in low income communities and have started the first ever HBCU CU EA Sports League. I love gaming. It's like an extension of myself. Dominic Jackson, a college junior, says the program has opened his eyes to a whole new world. If I could go talk to my old self, I wouldn't believe back then that you could make money playing video games. It was kind of just a dream, and I feel like everyone deserves the opportunity no matter where you're from or where you live. The team is pretty busy these days. Between their fundraising, outreach, and monthly town halls, sharing available jobs and scholarships in the industry. Gaming is like an intersection of film and television. There's a component of music. There's traditional sports. But you better believe they've set a little time aside. We're just trying to unlock players right now. To enjoy the thing they love. Uh, that brought them here in the first place. It's something that you can communicate back to the youth as something that has worth. Gaming is an industry for all of us. In Atlanta, Savannah Levins, 11 Alive News.